we have here is we have a natural logarithm, and the problem with the natural logarithm is we have the fourth root of e cubed. So to me, this just looks ridiculous. This is like, wait, how am I going to ever solve this without a calculator? I would call bull crap on me, right? Well, let's just try to not look at this problem and say, oh my God, it's so confusing. Let's try to think of and say, all right, what is it I know so far? Well, one thing I know is we don't ever deal with logarithms as radicals. Why? Because we don't have any special rules with uh, when they're in the radical form. However, what we can do is we can transfer all radicals to powers or to you know exponents. So the way to do that, remember, is I say the square root of four, we know it's two, is the same thing as four to the one half power. How do I know that? Well, it's kind of hard dealing with the square root. Let's look at the cube root of four squared. All right, and what you're gonna do is, that is the same thing as four raised to the two thirds power. All right, because what there is, is you just take here, it's not necessary, we don't always write a power one, and or we don't use, put a two for a square root because it's so common for us. But that's how you, you can change a radical to an exponent. If you don't believe me, type in your calculator. Cube root of four squared is the same thing as four to the two thirds power. Same thing as the square root of four is the same thing as four to the root one half. So I don't want to deal with this as a root. I want to deal with this as a fraction. And the reason why I want to deal with this as a fraction is, um, sorry. The reason why I want to deal with this as a fraction is because when dealing with this as a exponent, um, as a fractional exponent, what I can do is I can use my properties of logarithms. And my properties of logarithms tell me there's two different ones. Well, one is it says I can bring my number in front. So I could do this if I want to. I could say 3 fourths ln of e. Now remember, ln always has a base e. So ln of e, or you should just know your properties, is going to always equal 1 because e, this little e right there, your base, which we don't have to write because we it's assumed, e raised to what power gives you e, which is 1. ln of e is 1. 1 times 3 fourths is 3 fourths. Or there's another rule that just states, since we do know this, there's another rule that states whenever you have ln of e and it's raised to a power, your answer is just going to be 3 fourths. It's just going to be what your power is. So that's how you can evaluate this logarithm by using 